Take a look at guys, we actually have a pin strap for pie, not so coil around the eggs, and it's spread to this beautiful male pastel pie. Let's see how many eggs she has. Whoa, mama, what is going on, girl? That's okay, we'll go ahead and get these guys. She didn't coil around them very well, so we're gonna go ahead and candle all of these eggs Try here. to get them off the paper the best we can. Put them in here, we got two, four, six, eight, nine. Beautiful eggs. All right, so clutch number two is going into the incubator. We're slowly filling up. I mean, it's still got a long way to go. We probably have 130 clutches left to go. Clutch number two is now in the incubator. Ah, I tried. They're very elusive. Right over there. Look at the water. Get in. Okay. No, no. Lucy! Dude, she's not even moving. It's not funny. It's not funny. Do you know how bad, how fast something can happen in this case? <laughs> not that fast. We've survived worse. Ah! Ah! I'm not grabbing that. I'm not grabbing that. No ghost. <laughs> that was definitely Mike. Mike Can we go replay? Get some gloves or something. Okay, okay. If we get That's literally not even slowed down. That's real time. Let's go! <laughs> Look at all! Three pairs of gloves oh, shouldn't take stink. that long. <laughs> for you. Why is it so beat? Unless we got our gloves on, Jay. I should have had two gloves. <laughs> I miscounted. <laughs> So stupid. Why would he bring five gloves? And with a snap of eye, it's actually been halfway through incubation. We actually only have 12 clutches in the incubator right but now. We're gonna have tons more. I mean, the laying season is upon us. There's no doubt about it. Eggs are still looking good. We're halfway through. Another 27 days till cutting time. I can't go in there because of my motorcycle boot. This is gonna stick so Oh, 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 what's the matter, guys? You're not in here. I am excited. We could get pin pies. We could get lemon blast pies. We get all kinds of stuff. Right off the rip, I see a pie in here. What kind of pie do I see? It's a really high white pie, too. Oh my gosh, it's a soy. So it's got to be like a 90% white pie. So I don't know if it's a pin pie. I don't know if it's a lemon blast pie or a pastel pie. I'm not 100% sure. At least we know that it's proved out, right? We still have seven eggs to go. I really like this technique a lot. Another pie, another super high white pie, so I can't see any batter. Okay, so that's a pinstripe pie right there. So it doesn't look like a lemon blast, but it definitely looks like a pinstripe pie. The first one we got a pie, the second one we got a pinstripe pie. Let's keep rolling. Let me know what you guys think about this technique. I think it's actually really cool. I'm loving it. What do we have here? Another pie. Yes, we have another pie. And this one looks like another pinstripe pie. So definitely two pinstripe pies and then a nice high white pie. Odds are pretty good. I'm not complaining. So far we are crushing it. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I told you! I told you! It's not safe in there! I just crushed Noah. I'm like, Whoa. Oh, no, no, come on. Whoa! Noah, are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. I'm out of strike reach. You're definitely mm -hmm. not. I don't think that's how that works. I would not poke her. That was the most calm freaked out I've ever seen you been ever. Oh wait, I gotta empty the vacuum, it's full. It's always running. I always run! I just regret it. Oh, he's getting it all over the place. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to egg four. First non-pie. Looks like just a pinstripe. Yep, so this will be a pinstripe that is het for pie because again, the male is a pie which is recessive, which means all the babies are gonna be pied or het for pie. So a pin het pie. And what do we have here? Oh, I can see some white. That means another pie. Four out of five eggs are pies. So I would say this is either a normal pie or a pastel pie. Gosh, there's been some high white pies in this clutch. These are beautiful. I was just cleaning up my mess. Gosh, sorry you guys wanted to do that. So annoying. Stop, Number one? Oh, hose? Yeah. I got a lot of those. I know, grab one. <laughs> get the scrubbing. Noah, don't forget the hose. Mike, 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 Mike! <laughs> He's busy. Three eggs to go. Oh my goodness, I love these odds. We're in the very early start of the year and our odds have been absolutely amazing so far. What do we have here? I see white fur pie. Open it up here. This looks like a lemon blast pie. So this is a pastel pinstripe and it's a high white pie ball. This has been amazing. Two more eggs. Oh my God, dude, do you see the size of that? Freaking baby in there. Dude, he's gonna light us up. You gotta grab it though. I'm not good with the poop. All right, you got this, Jay? Are you good with poop? No, I'll get the snake and you can get no, the poop. No, 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 I'm not good with poop. Yeah, I will puke. I will so throw up. That's what puking is. Oh, God, I hate the feel of that. No, we hold this for a second. No, hold it for a second. No, no hold it for a second. Can you go just go put it in the trash can? Why are we, the trash can is that way. Go. I cannot believe it. We've only had 
one non-pie in this entire clutch so far. Five out of six have been pie. Come on, let's keep the odds going here. Look what we got here, just another pinstripe hat for pie. So too big that we didn't get another pie, but we have one more egg. You guys know I always love to end the egg cuttings on a bang, so let's hope this one is absolutely a ripper here. Come on, pie, come on, pie, come on, pie. Yes, I see white. And this looks like actually a pastel pie. So it's not a pinstripe, but it's a pastel pie. Oh my gosh, we literally got six out of eight pies and a whole bunch of combinations. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys back in the incubator. They're gonna start pipping out here in the next couple days. So make sure to stick around because I'm gonna be showing once these are all hatched out. It's been a couple days and all the babies are hatched out right now. We have some stunners in here. This is a little pinstripe eyeball ball python. I mean, just look at the pattern color. I mean, wow, these are gorgeous animals. Yeah, and this is just a high white normal pie ball ball python. This is actually another pin pied here. You can see it's got a super reduced pattern, which makes it really quite amazing. This one has a little bit more pattern to it right here. This is a pin pied as well, but again, look at how different these three are right here. Wow, wow that's incredible. As a matter of fact, this one is another pin pied here. Look at how different the four of these look that are all the exact same genetic. The weird thing is, is that we actually didn't hit on a pastel pin pied. As a matter of fact, this is the only pastel pied we had in the entire clutch right here. And then we have a couple pin strikes that are heifer pied here. So we'll go ahead and get these guys set up right now. They're going to shed out in the next four or five days. They're going to look even more pretty, and I'll show you how they look then. While we're waiting on those pies to shout, we did have a few other animals from earlier clutches shed. Look at this animal right here. This is actually a super pastel bamboo vanilla spider ball python. Holy moly. And then from that same clutch, we actually have a pastel vanilla bamboo ball python. I just love the bamboo gene. It's something that's been around for the last maybe eight or ten years. And they make some wicked, wicked looking snakes. And then another clutch that actually shed out that was, I think, the clutch just before the pie. Is this super chocolate ball python right here. Ooh, he's a feisty little monkey too. And the same clutch would be a pastel chocolate pinstripe. Just look at the purple coming down. And that chocolate makes that purple thicker, right? Because a pinstripe is really, really small pinstripe. You had the chocolate and it like quadruples the stripe down its back, making it this beautiful purplish animal. And then of course there's the Barney ball python, which is actually the camo, which is a super chocolate. It's a pinstripe. And then of course the banana. These were the ones that we really thought were going to be purple. So I should probably change the name. If you guys have any suggestions down in the comments, let me know what I should actually call these because they really shouldn't be called the Barney ball python. This one definitely was a miss, but still a stunning snake. Yeah, you put the snake back. I'm gonna rub it on you. Better rub it on you. <laughs> Don't touch no, me. No, no. Okay. We finished ours first. We're already done. We're already cleaned up and everything. I don't even got gloves on no more. All right, like I had mentioned, one snake shed out after they get out of that egg shed. It's a completely different thing. This was the pastel pie. Look at how amazing. Ooh, it bit me. Look at that little monkey right there. What's the matter with you? And look at how beautiful it looks. Really high white. Absolutely stunning. And then this is just a normal pie. Again, very high white. The majority of the animals in this clutch were actually really high white for whatever reason. Unbelievable. I mean, look at that. I mean, pipe ball, ball pythons are so incredible. Every time we hatch them or get them, I still get super excited. I think back to the early days when I was the second person to ever produce pies for $25,000 at the time. And the first one that I saw in the egg, I almost fainted. But there was a couple of these in the clutch too that were actually just pinstripe ball python. Very nostalgic for me. We did produce the very first pinstripe ball python. And of course, this is 100% heifer pie because of course the male was a piebald male. So meaning if you have a homozygous pie, you breed it to something like a pinstripe, all the babies are going to be at least het for pie. And this is a perfect example of what I talk about. Once a snake sheds, it looks completely different. I thought this was a pinstripe pie. It happens to be a lemon blast pie. So it's a pastel, it's a pinstripe, and it's a pie ball ball python. Before it shed, I couldn't actually see it. That's why a lot of times after they shed, they look so different. I wanted to share all that experience in one video. We'll be doing that throughout the year. In another pinstripe pie, but this one has a really reduced pattern. You can tell it's a pinstripe because of the head, really. But look at, there's really no pattern in here at all. And a super high white pie. Man, this thing is gorgeous. And you can see the variety or polymorphism within the pinstripe pie. It has a crazy amount of little patterns speckling all the way down its back. Really cool. This guy's about, you know, 40, 50% white. That is just absolutely ridiculous. And finally, this would be the normal pinstripe pie. So you can see the difference between that lemon blast pie and the pinstripe pie, that pastel influence. But look at how gorgeous that is. We produced the very first pinstripe pie, as a matter of fact, way too. back in the day. And so it's exciting to produce them again. So that basically wraps up the clutch from the time they were laid through the hatch all the way until they shed out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you in the next one. That's literally not even slowed down. That's real time.